Hello Capricorn, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot, and we are here for a love reading. The energy at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, is, oh, Three of Swords. Ouch, okay, so let's see what else we have. Well, okay, Three of Swords followed by a new beginning. And we have the Leo King here. Somebody's coming in, very proud, very fiery, could be you, could be the other person. In the recent past, the energy between you and a your beloved person is a sun card, the happiest card in the deck, Leo energy. Uh, the three of swords is uh, Libra energy, and the full card is um, Aquarius energy. But we have Capricorn, two people who are absolutely delighted, happy, joyful to be with one another. The sun card. The world card, okay, that's Saturn and Aquarius, um, and we see this energy of wanting to complete a cycle. Now, when I look at this, it could be a breakup, makeup situation. For many of you, that's exactly what it will be. Uh, it also can be the ending of a third-party situation or heartbreak of any kind, just disappointment, and a new beginning for the two of you, so take it as it applies to you all right we oh capricorn the way your person views the relationship with you as tiki torches starry nights romantic exciting a little wind blowing in your hair you know it looks like you're on a tropical island but that surfboard represents a sensual connection the three of wands is your ship has come in your person feels that you are the one for them. You are the one and only. They feel this relationship is quite um, quite unusual, almost an exotic feeling to it, but their heart burns really brightly for you. Five of Wands, how they view you. Well, they view you as a person who may be putting them into a competitive situation that is Leo energy. So you may have Leo in your chart also. But what we're seeing here is they feel as though there is this sort of argument going on. Like it's about, well, I want this, you want that. What are we going to do? It's more of a very, uh, it's like a friendly competition. But the problem is, is that they do see you, Capricorn, as someone who wants to win. You know, you can set the house on fire, so to speak, accidentally. So I would really... I do think this may have something also to do with the Three of Swords. So it looks like they view you as fighting for some particular goal, and they're not quite sure how that is unfolding or will unfold. But when we look at the Five of Wands, I would liken this energy to it's, thir it's Thanksgiving Day, and all the cousins are going to run out to the lowest, the closest park, and they're going to play tag football in a grudge match, okay? So it's not particularly bad energy, but it's feisty, to say the least, how they feel in their heart space. Six of Coins, Taurus Energy, they're very steadfast in their desire to give to this relationship. This is a person who values you highly. They want to bring their best self to the table. They want to be generous with you. They want to, you know, they think they feel as though you are their person. They are concerned with equal give and take, and they want to make sure in all of this that you'll give back to the relationship. So we have a person that you're in love with that has is feeling a little bit uncertain about what's going to happen how they view the relationship moving forward. Well, we have the Hermit card. So the Hermit card is a search for answers. So they don't really have a full view yet. They're trying to figure out how to solve the problems in the relationship. This is Virgo energy. Virgo energy is a problem solver of the Zodiac. And Virgo is very practical, very grounded, very down to earth. And so your person is searching for answers from sort of the mountaintop, a very spiritual card. But Virgo is the, the most profound, down to earth energy that seeks answers and finds solutions. What is hidden in the energy between the two of you? 
the offer that you're making each other is a little bit on the small side given the fact that you have this wonderful energy of really not wanting anyone else this is like you make me so happy i don't want anybody else i want this i want you to be the final person that i ever have a relationship with i want to close out the cycle of dating and so that's why i like this energy of closing out you're going from the three of swords to the three of wands spirit's recommendation or advice is to stay very cool calm and collected uh, to be very logical about this, this is Aquarius energy, uh, to look for anything in the relationship and to be aware of it, uh, and to look for messages. Birds are always messengers, so there may be something when we clarify this that is revealed, because that Three of Swords is the opening card of the reading, and we don't understand it yet. All right, the outcome, oh, lovely, Ace of Coins, Earth Sign Energy. So an offer is made as your outcome for the week. All right. I am starting to post a more astrology, so I'm going to link the overview of the next two years for you um, that I did last, last week when we had the lunar eclipse. It's an overview. So it's at the end of this video. I recommend you watch it to get... Uh, it's a very easy to, and it's easy to understand. So very short, very to the point. I think you'll like it. So Capricorn, why do we have the Three of Swords? Oh, okay. Oh, there. I love clarifiers. They virtually change the, the meanings of the relationship cards when we look at them. So somebody was left behind, or there was, so for some of you, there was some heartbreak, but I'm seeing the sun card is clarifying. We have the sun card here. So the connection between the two of you is quite profound. It is healing a broken heart, healing a situation that was very much, you know, both of you coming into this energy, feeling maybe lost and lonely and without love. We have the page of coins and we have the page of coins here so a new beginning a small offer reasonable taking it a day at a time uh, that is you know when we look at the page of coins we are looking at virgo energy keeping it practical keeping it real not over investing prior to the time that you're at that level of investment so for many of you this is a new relationship but for many of you it may be somebody that you've known for a while and been sort of unsure about you know wanting to pursue the relationship and i think for you capricorn especially that energy why do we have the king of wands here for you we have the three of wands excellent you are choosing each other because that is the overall energy of this reading okay so that's outstanding energy capricorn i think that you just have a tendency to I think you're playing hard to get. <laughs> you might be. You might be making, you might be trying to test this person to see what they're really made of, to see if they have the, the wherewithal or the stamina. But look at this. We have two hearts beat as one. This is a naked, um, the naked, oh, my, the naked heart tarot. Sorry, it's early. Uh, the naked heart tarot. This is an exquisite deck. It is on Amazon if you like to buy it. But this is literally the Two of Cups. But as you can see, the hearts are joined as one. And so you have come across a love relationship that is so unusual, so powerful. And then we also have the Ace of Coins here, clarifying the World card. The Ace of Coins is a significant, significant offer. It's an understanding that the two of you have, that you're, you're both one of a kind to one another, investing, again, very earth sign energy. When we look at the world card, Aquarius is moving into a new age, closing out old cycles very successfully. The two of you might have met at work or in a situation where uh, there was a financial dealing of some sort. We also see, though, that it's Saturn energy, and that's your energy, Capricorn. You can go the distance. You're the goat. You climb to the top of the mountain, and that's that very similar to Virgo Earth sign energy. 
All right, what do we have here for the Three of Wands? Why is it here for the way the person sees you? All right, so they know that they want you, but they're feeling as though you are putting them, like you're not, if you're on a dating website or something, it looks as though for some of you, your person sees you on that website, and so they feel a little, they're, they're really confused, you know, that hanged man energy is trying to look at things from a different perspective so that they don't lose hope and they're just really unsure what you're doing. I call this this card, if you look at this closely, this is the only hanged man that looks like a cartoon character, seeing stars, not liking to be in the hanged position, finding they feel dizzy, okay almost like they've been punched in the head like a little cartoon character um and so they feel quite taken aback by this so let's look and see the clarifier let's clarify that hanged man let's see what we have uh four of wands so the three of wands to the four of wands as far as they're concerned they want to put a ring on it they want to conclude this cycle of dating you're their person they see you as, but they do see you as very proud, very single, ready to mingle. The energy of uh, the pre-empress. Okay. The heart of swords, they see you in this queen of swords energy. They see you as someone who is weighing and measuring and locking your heart in a cage and not really giving emotion. You're giving passion. The passion is not an issue here. There's plenty of passion, but they see you almost trying to stay single. But we do have Queen and King of Swords energy. So there is an energy here that they understand that you're being very careful. And they also feel that you may have been heartbroken in the past. You may still have some feelings for an you know someone in the past that you may still be dealing with some heartache and pain and not quite ready for relationship. We have the movement of cops. They are coming in with a very romantic offer. They're showing up with roses, a sealed letter with a, a nice wax red seal on it, a picnic blanket, a bottle of wine. They have a very fine horse that they're going to have you ride upon with them. So what we see with the card here, we see the Virgo energy and we see release, the judgment card. Now, there may be a situation for some of you where that is the judgment of divorce. They may be waiting for this because we have, these are cards of waiting, um, waiting for the right time. But let's see, is this judgment card, are they releasing the idea that they can have you in the same way that they want you? What? Tell us more about the Hermit card and the judgment card. But judgment, I often find, you know, it's karma, it's release, it's Scorpio. This is Pisces energy. This is Libra energy. We have Virgo energy again. Uh, and we have Aries energy, the Pisces, uh, hanged man is Pisces also. So why do we have judgment card here? This person wondering or seeking answers about whether they should, what they should release. What does that mean? Seven of Cups. They want to release confusion. They certainly do not like instability. The Spirit of Swords. Okay, so now we have the King of Swords. So they're matching your energy. Tell us more about all of those cards are leaving me feeling foggier in this reading about how your person sees the path forward. They don't really see the path forward. It's very, they're trying to be very strategic and figure things out, but they may be waiting also just for a divorce to be final. Okay, oh my God. They, in their minds and hearts, you are their twin flame. You are absolutely the only one they want to be with we have twin flame energy here 11 11 11 11 in the sacred heart tarot you can see that this is a number 22 and it's the only deck that has number 22 in my um, many decks what tell us more about this tell us more about how your person sees the path forward six of cups 
Six of Cups is Scorpio energy. So again, we have Scorpio here, Scorpio here. It is a reunion card. So it does look as though you may be, there may be a conflict about who's, where someone's living or being able to see each other. But it is a card of deep reunion. They can't wait to see you next. And we have the Seven of Coins. So they're very invested. It looks like a very much a wait and see card. But why do we have, what is the judgment? Tell us specifically, please, Spirit. What is the judgment here? Movement of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, not all of you, this will be a relationship in which the energy is requiring that Capricorn, one of you has to leave the other, one of you has to leave another situation behind. When we get the movement of wands, that would imply that there might have been a fling or an affair, but it also means that um, they feel as though what started out now, there's many interpretations for this, but another interpretation is that this started out as a fling, very sexy, very exciting, and this person is ready to leave the fling energy behind to move more into this energy because we see them coming in now with this romantic offer. So now we see your person wanting more fulfillment. They want to be happy. They don't want to be feel like they've been played. And so that's, you know, they're they're wondering what you're going to do with that five of wands. They simply don't know if you are choosing them or not. Why is the page of pentacles here? Okay. Closing out again the world, the world. It's called the universe, but both of you are very busy trying to figure out the next step. You're going to give up the burdens of waiting, of putting things off. The three of coins, there you go. You're mutually collaborative in this relationship. You're going from that five of wands energy of uh, they feel as though you're not necessarily invested, but the hidden energy is there. They're reading you as being a person who wants a relationship. Capricorn, that is your energy. Okay, so, and as is the world card, Saturn is your energy also. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> we have the magician card. So spirit is saying you, you are manifesting one another. The magician card is Gemini and Virgo energy. Communication. Every problem, Virgo, can be solved with proper communication. The two of you have all the tools. There are roses. You're watching each other so carefully. I think that's one of the cutest magician cards I've ever seen. All right, your outcome right now is that you're holding back on an offer. Your person's holding back on moving forward. It looks as though you're waiting for something. Heart of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. You're waiting for someone to be free. Now, the Heart of Wands is a very sexy Aries queen. And so we're looking for more fire when the time is right, giving to each other. Yay. All right. So this timing is very critical in this connection. So it does look like there it's a, a it's complicated. However, that, you know, whatever that means. And again, doesn't have to mean third party, but, you know, often does. But it can be situations, jobs, complications of any sort. So let's see what Spirit is saying is going to happen here. What is the outcome of this relationship? What are they? What's the, the energy? Trust. Beautiful. You can trust each other. That is the energy of the crystal cave. Going to your inner world. Trust is being built in a very solid way. Inside out transcending difficulties that's a world card that is a card of transcension transcending is very much the world card going to the next level you know going to even a more successful level than where you're at and look at this new beginnings oh okay now i really sound like a big old sap I am broadcasting from Chicago, and I would love to know where you're watching the video from. Please make a comment below. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what's going on in your world. And it's been a joy speaking with you today. Thank you so much for viewing. Bye-bye.